All right, so this question is about thin film interference, and it pertains to interference only due to the phenomenon of reflection. Path difference is not included in the question number A. So if you see this, the upper layer is there. There is an upper layer. There is a bottom layer, and this is the thin film. So if you see the question, the thin film is here, right? So we have to see this thin film layer in this particular question. As you can see, there are two reflecting points. One is marked like this. First reflection. and when the this incident ray it reaches the bottom part of the layer it again reflects back so this is your second reflection right so this is your second reflection these two rays ray number 1 and ray number 2 these are two emergent rays so we have to focus on these two rays to solve this problem so first of all you must understand that the phase difference happens because of reflection also right how does it happen what is the thumb rule the rule is if you have a refractive index of n1 here and n2 here and a wave is coming like this n1 is less than n2 180 degree phase difference reversal happens okay but if the n1 is larger okay so n1 is greater than n2 and this is your n1 this is your n2 and n1 is greater than n2 and the reflection happens of this surface the phase change the delta phi which happens is 0 degree so look at this diagram this diagram tells you that there are two reflected rays that is what you need to understand we have to find the phase difference between the two reflected rays All right so let's analyze the situation number 1 this is your first reflection and from the bottom layer this is the second reflection if you notice the first reflection is happening from 1.5 is n1 here and n2 is 1.4 right so you moving from a higher refractive index to lower refractive index so no phase reversal happens for one so phase difference introduced because of first reflection is zero if you look into the second reflection here the phase difference is again zero because of the second reflection no phase difference gets created because again 1.4 is greater than 1.3 so both these first and second are in phase right so there is no phase difference which is introduced between first and second reflected rays also called as emergent rays so if you look into the zero phase difference situation this is correct if you notice the situation number 2 although this is higher to lower but the second reflection will happen from lower to higher so this is wrong in the first one higher to lower makes sense the first reflection will see nothing but the second reflection which is happening is from lower to higher because 1.3 is less than 1.5 so here this will get inverted by 180 degree this will be 0 degree therefore there will be a gap of 180 degree between these two exactly like this here also you will see the same gap let's talk about last situation in the last situation the first reflection if you see is happening from lower to higher the lower to higher the first is happening so this will undergo a reflective uh, phase difference of 180 degree let's look into the second reflection which is happening here right it is a second reflection happening at the lower point this is not where the reflection happens if you consider this one this also is from higher to lower so 1.4 is less than 1.5 so again 180 degree difference created between these two no phase difference will be there so situation number 4 is also right so 1 and 4 are the two situations where despite the two reflections happening no zero phase difference will be there between the two reflected rays thank you